Hey, what's up guys, another video here. So today I wanna give you another quick update on the stimulus package. So while 500 billion is significant progress, there is one fundamental disagreement over how to approach further negotiations. Republicans want to evaluate and negotiate each major piece of the stimulus package. This was evident in past negotiations where Republican negotiators made offers on specific pieces of legislation such as unemployment benefits and state and local government funding. In contrast, Democrats want to focus on the top line number. They want to reach an agreement on the total cost of the package and then fill in the details later. This was evident in their offer to compromise on the overall cost of the next stimulus package. The different negotiating strategies bubbled to the surface this week. Mr. Meadows described this in a particular interview following his call with Pelosi. According to Meadows, he asked the speaker during the call what was in her $2.2 trillion proposal and she wouldn't tell him. Quote, I had a conversation with Speaker Pelosi and even on her $2.2 trillion counter offer, she can't tell the American people nor me what is in that, Meadows said. As supported by The Hill, Meadows added, quote, I said, what does the $2.2 trillion represent? You know what her response was? I'm not going to tell you. Let me fill in the blanks. That's not a proper negotiation, nor is it anything that the American people accept. A representative for Speaker Pelosi responded that these comments mischaracterized their discussions. They also claimed that Mr. Meadows was unwilling to break down the cost of the Republican proposal. Resolving the different approaches to further negotiations is critical if they can get past this hurdle. There's one element of the stimulus bill that could go a long way to helping parties reach a final agreement, aid to state and local governments. So it's very clear that Pelosi is being very immature and emotional about the stimulus package because she wants to focus on top line number 2.2 trillion. So actually Meadows and the Republican uh, party, they are settling on approximately 1.3 trillion. So they're kind of inching toward that $2.2 trillion mark, but because Pelosi cannot specify the exact breakdown of the $2.2 trillion, she's just focusing on this top line number because they're already working down from $3.4 trillion to uh, $2.2 trillion. If she can't specify the breakdown of this amount and if she's responding in this emotional way, and you can't blame female nature, I mean, she is 80 years old, but it doesn't preclude her from the fact that she's still very emotional and can't use logic in these circumstances. So you can blame Pelosi for being very emotional and immature about this topic and if she can't give the exact breakdown of the justification of using and trying to get 2.2 trillion dollars and it's perfectly reasonable that the republicans should get a breakdown of this amount but again a lot of the money from the march package the cares act it hasn't been utilized. So I do understand the Republican perspective where if all these funds haven't been utilized, then why should there be additional money printed for this uh, next stimulus package? But anyways, you know, it's not looking good. Again, do not expect your checks by late September. Again, I've stated possibly by late August, but now it's not looking like late September and I'm not even hopeful that it'll come before the November election. So hopefully by the end of the year, but maybe by the end of the year, things return back more to normal. Maybe there's a vaccine, we don't know. So anyways, uh, guys, just hold tight. You probably won't be getting your stimulus check by the end of the year, hopefully by the end of the year, but you know, we don't know. But anyways, if you like this update, please like and subscribe. If you are interested in my book, please check out the link below on Amazon. It describes how I became multimillionaire at age 35 by only having salary income 40K to 81.5K from the ages of 22 to 35. It goes over income, expenses, and more importantly, investing. So that's it, guys, and stay tuned for the next video.